Hello, my name is Ben Wyatt. In this video tutorial, we will learn how to export documents from Moodle onto a new folder on your desktop. So one of the first things that we'll have to do for this particular uh, video tutorial on how to export documents from Moodle to Blackboard is to create a folder on your desktop. In order to create a new folder on your desktop, you would right-click anywhere on the desktop and once you right click um, you'll have the option to create a new folder if you move your mouse down to new we'll select new folder as far as the naming convention of this new folder um, depending on what course you're going to back up or export from Moodle um, you want to name this folder along the same lines so the course that I'll be exporting from is an algebra and trig course so basically I'm just going to name this uh, folder something along those lines so two months three months a year down the road I know which folder I need to navigate to if I'm looking for a particular item and it helps keep everything organized um, because if you are exporting more than one course from Moodle to Blackboard um, once again it keeps everything organized moving forward so once that particular folder is created on your desktop our next step is we have to log into the Moodle environment so let me go ahead and log in to Moodle. And once we're within the Moodle environment, basically we, we have to navigate to that particular course that we want to export from. So for this demo, I'll be exporting documents from the college algebra and trig course. So we'll go ahead and click on that particular course. Once we get to the main landing page of that particular course within the Moodle environment, left hand side, you'll see a button called Backup. We'll go ahead and click on the Backup button and that will take us to a page that presents us all information that will be, will be exported from Moodle to that new folder on our desktop. All these items are automatically selected. It's the default setting in Moodle which is totally fine. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom um, you'll see some different categories but once again best practice is to leave all those items selected <clears throat> then we'll click on the continue button once we click on the continue button we'll have the option to rename this zip file which is the type of file that Moodle exports to that new folder on our desktop and we'll leave the name as is once again gives you some more information as far as what's being copied. <clears throat> and once we get to the bottom of the page, we'll have the option to continue again. So we'll go and click continue. Uh, once again, we're taken to another page. Um, it's very important that we see this backup completed successfully, which indicates to me that the backup was successful, which is great. We'll go and click on the continue button. And then that takes us to backups that we might have done a month ago. You can see a uh, backup of this course was done February 10th, 2011. And the most current backup was May 2nd, 2013. So in order to export this particular zip drive to that new folder on your desktop, what we do is just right click on this guy right there on the name of the file and we'll click on save link as and what we do is navigate to that new folder that we just created in step one and there's that new folder double click on that and then we can name this particular zip file from Moodle uh, I'm just gonna call it math course and then we're gonna click on save and that will save those documents to this algebra and trig folder on our desktop and once we get into that particular folder if we double click in there there's all the course files from that particular Moodle course um, and now they're loaded within this particular folder on our desktop if we click course files that takes us to different PDFs 
tests that were implemented in this online course. If we click back, we can look at mod data. Looks like these are from the forum. So if the online course had some type of discussion questions, those will be la labeled or uh, listed in the forums folder. Resources, if the course uh, integrated any type of resources, reading materials, they'd be located in there. But as you can see, it creates a nice folder structure. So um, later on, once uh, the new Blackboard environment is established, you can navigate to this course and start uploading these documents to that same course within the Blackboard environment. Um, this concludes this video tutorial on how to export items from Moodle to your desktop. Um, <clears throat> in the following video tutorial, you will learn how to import these documents from this particular new folder on your desktop into the Blackboard environment. If you have any questions, issues, or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me or another member of the instructional design team. Thank you.